To make a cuff bracelet, what you'll need is sturdy cardboard, a ruler, scissors, scalpel, pencil, a wool needle, and then various wools, yarn, or string. The first thing to do is to make the loom. This piece of cardboard is a sturdy piece of A3 off the back of an art pad. The most important dimensions are these in the centre here, 18 centimetres by 10 centimetres that we're going to cut out, and then eight notches one centimetre apart on either end. Using a scalpel, I cut out the centre part of the loom. Then using scissors, I cut the notches at each end. Now we're ready to string up the loom. I'm using a smooth string-like thread for this part. We're going to be creating what's called the warp threads. Make a loop knot in the end of the string. We're going to take this and put it into the very first notch on one end. Using a firm but not tight tension, you're going to guide the string down to the opposite notch and thread it through. Then bring it back up again and put it actually through the same notch. Then bring it around to the next and back to the same notch again. Continue threading up the loom in this manner. What you'll end up with is two threads through each notch except for the two end ones. They'll only have one each. And now we can start our weaving. I've chosen some brown wool and cut about a metre and a half of it. I'm threading it onto a wool needle and we can begin. Guide your needle through the weft threads, alternating between over and under each thread as you go. Thread through all of that wool right to the very end, but leave a tail that we're going to then sort out later. Now going back through, alternate the opposite thread over and under. As you guide the wool through on this second row, the tension is going to be really important. Don't leave it too loose or too tight. On the third row, do the same, but alternate again. Each row, just check the tension a little bit. I've created these little battens out of some more cardboard and it neatens up the weaving as we go. I've got one at the top end and one at the bottom end. It neatens it up, presses the weaving together and helps to assess if I've got the tension right too. So, weave away. I've woven to the end of my brown wool here and changing to a creamy colour. Continue on the same pattern as if you were still going with the brown wool. What you're going to be left with is some loose ends. I'll show you later how to deal with that. Continue weaving in this pattern, check your tension as you go, but then also add different colours. In this part of the weaving, I'm going to do something a little bit different with the pink. I'm going to create a step in the design. I'm going to weave a few rows of the pink. Then push it together so it's nice and tightly woven. And I'm going to only thread through the first five strings of my loom. This will mean it creates a step in the pattern. I'm going to fill the pattern with the next colour 
in grey. I'm now going to fill the remaining strings with the grey thread. So in a sense I've got two needles on the go. So here is more of the weaving done. I've changed colours and also I've changed where the step down happens in the design. I'm finished the weaving, time to deal with those loose ends. Using the wool needle, thread it through the first channel of your weaving. Thread the loose end through the eye of the needle and pull through that channel. It can be a little bit tricky, just have some patience and wiggle it a bit. Now trim the end of that off. Do the same with the next colour. Because there are so many loose ends, I flipped my loom over and I'm threading them through the second channel on the back. Done! I'm pretty happy with that. Next step is to take one end off the loom. Trim the loops and make sure they're even. I have divided my warp threads into two groups and I'm plaiting them and tying a knot at each end. Then I repeat that step on the other end of the loom so I end up with this. Now to make the fastening, I take another piece of thread, put the two plaits together and wind the thread around. I wind it around quite a few times and when I feel that it's nice and secure, I tie it off. I do the same on the other plait and this is how this fastening works. Pull the two plaits on either end and bring them together. The cup is complete. I've made a few more here and enjoyed playing with colours and textures. Why not share with us the weavings that you do? Use the hashtag virtualinsight on social media.